upon my elect people and God says I'm going to light them up like torch lights and things will happen in this land and God will raise up pockets of revivals yea that will be extended that will flow in houses it will flow in churches it will flow in cities it will flow in towns and the Lord says get ready get ready get ready get ready because I'm going to begin to do this even with immediate effect and the Lord says now my fire now my favor now my touch get ready my precious sons and daughters for I'm moving in this day. Get ready to see it in ways you've not seen it before. Father, let's all lift our hands. Father, we love you so much. We're so honored. Dr. Lucy, please come up here. Please come up here in this atmosphere. I know you have a word from the Lord. Just begin to prophesy. Just jump right into it. I, mean, I, want to, I don't want to break and shut down. And uh, Let's just flow in this atmosphere right now. Just release what the Lord is saying to you. Sometimes you feel left out. And sometimes you wonder when is God going to come through for me. But the Lord is saying to you today, tonight is your night. Tonight is your night of breakthrough. 
and this is that which I have called you to for. I have I have appointed you and I anointed you for this. And I say to you, my child, I will not leave you until you have done with that which I have promised to do for you. And I say to you tonight, I have lifted up a standard against your enemies. Amen. Every time I have called you to do something, and you have started to do it, all of a sudden there are distractions. And I say to you, a standard has been lifted against your enemies. And this time around, I'm calling you out to do that which I've called you to do. And I'm promising you that you are going to be successful. Amen. For I have called you to be successful. Amen. Even as I called my servant Abraham. And he was successful in that which I called him to do. Even you have called you to do and be successful. And I say that you'll be mighty, mighty in this land, right here in this room. God is saying that there's somebody appointed for a high government office in this country. There is somebody anointed in this room for a high government office. And God says it's not going to be, to be by might or by power. It is going to be by my Holy Spirit. Yes. And you are not going to be a regular politician. You are going to be a supernatural one. Yes. For you will hear a command from heaven. You will walk by that which you see being done in heaven. And the fear of the Lord will come upon this nation. Yes, my servant. Yes, my servant. You know yourself. You know who the Lord is speaking to. And God wants you tonight uh, to receive the anointing, uh, to do exploits in this nation, in a very high government office. Amen. And that you will not strive as they strive. Yes. But I'll push this politician out of your way, and I'll push another one out of your way, and you will start as the appointed one by the people. And God is saying, some of you, I've called you to the nations. And tonight, God wants you to receive the mandate to go to the nations and impact the nations with my fear for many do not fear me in other nations but I say to you I have raised you up a God fearing people and I have taught you to be humble I have taught you to walk in humility and therefore this is your time and this is your season to go to the nations and to impact the nations with that which I have given you. For that which I have given you is really mighty and it's going to transform many across nations. Amen. And even as you've been in this, you've been in this ministry, the prophet of God, the man of God, is a man who has ministered in many nations and therefore you are going to receive the impartation of the same anointing to impact many nations and I say to you fear not for you will go to the countries which refuse to give visa you will be given the visa and conditionally you will walk to the embassy and you will be get the visa because I have found you worthy and now command somebody in the embassy to give you the visa without any conditions. Amen. The hour is now. You are connected to a mighty ministry. And I say to you, as you continue being faithful in this ministry, there's going to be an explosion. You are going to experience an abundance that you never thought possible. You are going to experience a breakthrough in finances. Because the law of finances are being taught in this ministry. And I'm equipping you and teaching you 
how to walk in wealth and how to manage wealth. I said to you, the heavens are open to release the finances so that the work of the ministry can be done. And I have seen your faithfulness. There's somebody here who has been very faithful in finances. Very faithful. And you have been giving. You have been giving and giving and giving. And at certain times, you've not seen the outcome. But God is saying now is the time you are going to see to reap a fruit. Fruits. There is an increase that is coming upon your life. Even in 2020, the first part of 2020, you are going to reap a mighty harvest. Because yes, the harvest is there. Because you have been faithful in giving and supporting this work of the ministry. And there are doors which are opening. It's not just finances. I feel that the faithfulness in the realm of finances, it is opening other doors, not just finances. There are other doors which are going to open, even the door of partnership, the door of ministry, the doors of business, the doors of careers that you never thought was possible for you. You've seen other people get blessed. And many times you've, God is saying you have asked him consistently. Why, 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 me Lord, why am I not experiencing? But God is saying the season is now. The time is now. You are going to experience that breakthrough that you asked the Lord for. You told him, if I do this, will you bless me? And yes, you did what you said you would do. And you are faithful in that which you promised the Lord. And now God is going to keep his part of the deal. Amen. And you are going to experience breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And there is a mighty, mighty increase even in membership in this, in this ministry. This place here is very, very temporary. This room here is very temporary because there is, there is a breakthrough in numbers that is coming. A multitude is coming to join the ministry and to partner with the ministry. But only that, they are going to be faithful, faithful people who are coming. And they are coming and pressing on. I see them trying to get through that door. And there are too many to come in. And God is saying, prepare, prepare, prepare. Because you are going to be engaged in ministry. Some of you, you God has anointed you to, to minister to those who will be coming to join the ministry. And some of you have been put in very strategic ministries. And you will minister in that ministry as people continues to come in. God is saying, prepare yourself and be ready to move because this ministry is on the move. There is the acceleration anointing that is so profound in this ministry. And you are going to experience Experience it and very suddenly you are going to see that the multitude are there and there are so many people joining the ministry. Thank you, Jesus. And God is saying to the man of God, Prophet Dr. Thomas, there's going to be high level appointment uh, uh, partnership. Jesus. People in very high levels of government yes. are going to. First of all, humble themselves before you in this country mm. of Kenya. There are people who are going to humble themselves in this ministry. They're going to be part of this ministry, very high level people in the government. They are going to see that all the things that are being taught are helping them be faithful in their work, be faithful in politics, and they are going to join this ministry. And they are going to humble, to humble themselves. So there is going to be a lot of partnership in very high levels, very strategic post uh, government levels. But not only in this country, you are going to see in the country of Uganda, you are going to see that the, the ministry is targeting very high, high profile individuals. People with very high, in the very high level of government. But even in US, there is going to be millionaires 
partnering with this ministry in New Year's. Millionaires are going to partner with this ministry because God's favor is upon this ministry, is upon your life. First of all, God's favor is upon the man of God. Amen. The heart of God is upon him. Because God has seen your sacrifice. His life is a drink offering. He did not go through all those things people do. Other people do, they get married, they do all that stuff. Uh, they get careers. He could have been a career person. He could have done everything, he's very brilliant. He could have been a mighty politician in America. Could be, he could be in the White House now, as we speak. But he laid it down for the kingdom. Amen. And God saw your sacrifice. And God says, your latter days are greater than the former. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Because of being a drink offering is somebody who, whose life is laid down. The life is given up. His life is a drink offering. Why? So that he may, many may be raised up. Many other people may be established. Do you think it's easy for him to live his comfortable life in America, come here and deal with the potholes? Who does that? He could be driving comfortably in America, living in a nice house. But see, his life is a drink offering. He goes to where God takes him. And life offering for our benefit. For the people, the benefit of Kenyan people. Hallelujah. And you are under that ministry. So you are great. I should feel honored. I myself, even though I'm in America, I feel so connected with the ministry. And I feel greatly honored. Just by being connected. Thank you, Jesus. And God says, man of God, Joseph. God started speaking to me when I, see, when I was sitting there. Yes. God say, say that because you are a great man of honor. Amen. And as the spirit of excellency is in your life. Amen. They, what you've done in this ministry, what you've done to the man of God supporting him, Amen. you will be greatly rewarded. Hallelujah. And God wants you to write that down. Amen. God, you know, there will be a multiplication anointing in your life Amen. that Amen. will multiply. Even Amen. that which you have now Amen. will be multiplied. Amen. God is saying, watch out. Hallelujah. Watch out. Yes. Because it's going to happen because the step you've taken to start with the man of God. Amen. And he say, you have said, he is my brother. Yes. And you're standing for him as if he is your brother. Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. God is saying he has seen your faithfulness. And your humility. Amen. And you will be greatly rewarded by God. Amen. And in all the places. The, the places God appointed you. For very high positions in this nation. Amen. But God will take you even further. Amen. Whatever was taken from you. Amen. It will be returned many times more. Amen. Whatever was stolen. Amen. The honor that was stolen from you. Amen. Will be restored many times more. Amen. Your name is a household name Amen. in Kenya. Amen. Amen. People will no longer ask who is Joseph. Because Joseph will be known. Hallelujah. Because God is raising you up as he raised Solomon. Amen. Nobody could ask who is Solomon because of the wisdom. Because you are a man of wisdom. Yeah. And many will come, even high level officers, well, government officers will come to get counsel from you. Hallelujah. And to get advice. But Amen. God says... Hallelujah. Your own household is established Hallelujah. to many generations. Hallelujah. Your generations, yes. many generations Hallelujah. will benefit because you have shown faithfulness Hallelujah. and you have stood with the man of God. Amen. In an hour where he needs people to start with him, Amen. you have said, yes, you can count me. Yes. Whatever you want done, yes. it will be done. It's not that you can't have your own ministry. Yes. It's not that you can't work independently. Yes. But you have humbled yourself and God has seen it. And it is now written down. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Wow. Amen. Mighty God, Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. Come, I want a minister.
I don't want to keep you too long. I'll just minister to her. Then. <laughs> God says, your voice will calm the storm. Your voice is a voice that calms the storm. It's a voice that will bring peace to many who are troubled, who are in troubled waters. The voice will be carried back and forth, not only in the nation of Kenya, but this voice will go to other nations because it will come in storms. But it's also a voice of war. Even as Deborah was a woman of war, you are a woman of war. You are a Deborah of this generation. And you serve your generation in power, in authority, you will serve your generation. You will serve this generation and give this generation breakthrough upon breakthrough. Because of the voice, your voice is like a voice of many waters. When you worship, that anointing is the voice of many waters. Even like it is in the, in the book of the Revelation, the voice of many waters. Amen. To the glory of God. And God says he has not forgotten you. There are some personal prayers you've been having. Yes. God says he knows them, A, B, C, D, all of them to the last detail. A, B, C, D. And it is going to be perfect. Hallelujah. It's going to be perfect. Even when you see the answer, it will say, wow. It's a wow answer. Yeah. Yes, but God says that he is going to use you mightily as a prophet of God. Wow. Wow. As he used Deborah, the Deborah anointing is in your life. But also you have answers for many complex questions, legal questions. You will have answers when nobody else has answers. Amen. Amen. You hopeless cases, you address them in wisdom and they'll be solved. Amen. And no case of yours will fail. Amen. Because you have put God first in your life. And good partnership also. You will see good partnership. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are like God. You are like a trumpet that uh, God is using. The trumpet will be blown to call people to war and to shout the victory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know the way God sees you. God sees you as a rose. You know the rose, how beautiful it is. That's how you, you before God, that's who you are. You are like a rose. But also there is this sweet sweetness that, you emit, that it radiates from you. Sweetness that comes from you. It's a life transforming sweetness. God has given you a lot of sweetness. He has, he has put a, given you a lot of grace. Even to be patient with the people. Even sometimes people see like, like oh, does she know what she's doing? But it's the patience in you. Some, that's why people come to you with problems. Are always coming to you, always seeking you out because you can listen to them and patiently you can you give them answers, godly answers. But also, God is saying uh, there is a walk of faith that is ahead of you. There is days of walking by faith and not by sight mm -hmm. that God has set before you. And then when you finish this one that is coming, you are going to receive a promotion Hallelujah. that only God can give. 
and you are going to see that you are functioning in many dimensions. And you are going to see a growth. And you are going to step out. Because God is seeing you as a princess. God is saying that you step out in all boldness. Like even Queen Esther stepped out for the yeah. people. Yeah. And she stood up for, for the cause of the people. Even you, God will help you stand up. And God says, do not be afraid. There are some who rise up against you. But God says, he will be your defense. He will be your defense. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mom, can you come? Janet. Janet, <coughs> please come. Also come. <coughs> Minister to these two then. God is calling, saying you are mighty, mighty, mighty woman of war. You have fought in many battles and you have prevailed. But God is saying this season is a season of getting rewarded. It's a season of promotion for you. It's a season of getting established. It's a season of receiving fruit. And God is saying it's not just one fruit, it's not just one thing. In, it is in many areas of your life you are going to experience this abounding, this increase, this overflow is going to affect every part of your life. It's going to affect your family. It's going to be in many dimensions. And God is saying prepare for the days ahead. The days ahead are very serious. The days ahead, there are times God is going to wake you up at night and you have to intercede. It's days of mighty, mighty intercession for the ministry, for the man of God, for this nation. There is, you are entering another realm of intercession. And inter a prophetic intercession where you will see things in dreams and visions. You will see things and you will intercede for those things. So it's a prophetic, a prophetic anointing that is coming in prayer to affect your prayer life. And God is saying that you trust him. You trust him. Sometimes things will look complicated because of the many breakthroughs in this ministry. So there are days when it's going to look complicated. Things that need to be done and God will show you what need to be done, even before the man of God says them. In here, even he, before he tells you, you will know what is it that need to be done. And in that moment, God will show you, and then you will, sometimes you will feel overwhelmed. But God is saying, it is he who works all things. Yes. It is he who will perfect everything. So you know that everything that God says, he will do it, it will be done. And there are times where when you will spend many hours in prayer and God is, God is, is, is releasing to you grace to pray. Grace to pray for the ministry, to pray for the members of this ministry and grace to pray for families. And God is saying, my daughter, I love you so much, says the Lord. God is saying his love for you is great. And you have not even experienced the love of God that he has towards you. And how he is moved by your humility, by your faithfulness. It has come to him as a memorial before him. It is forever. Your faithfulness is forever before God. But God is also releasing a mantle of glory upon your life. A mantle, a new mantle of his glory is coming upon your life. 
And also angels are on assignment to minister to you. There are specific angels who are on assignment Everybody to minister this. Everybody to you. Everybody receive this right now. Take it, take it. It's coming to the head. It's coming down the head, down the pipeline. Receive it too. Go ahead. The angels are on assignment. Assigned to protect. Assigned to keep. Assigned to provide. The angels are on assignment. Receive everybody. Receive. It's for yes. You. It's for you. Receive, Karen, yes. Karen, come stand here. Mercy, come stand here. Karen, mercy, come stand here.